Instead of making designs that look like this, aspire to make something that looks more like this. Today we're going to look at some hot and some spicy tips that are really going to improve your designs if you're an amateur, beginner, rookie or pro. The first tip is to actually work backwards. Backwards? What are you talking about Tom? Now take a glance at this design right here and maybe whilst you're just looking at it, your mouth might start to water a tiny bit. The person or persons who designed this didn't just sit down and start designing like that. Now before they made a single pixel or vector path, they visualized what the design should be like. But how, and importantly, why? Let's jump back to this example again to illustrate the point. Now, some of the goals this design might have had would be to make the viewer have a sense of fresh, real ingredients through the product, and also that it's really sour to the taste. The designers used fresh cuts of real fruit, sour tasting fruits of course to match the sour and tangy nature of the product, along with ice to give that kind of fresh coolness feeling. The entire design is explosive, bursting out from the center to express that punchy, sour nature of this product. When you know what the end goal is and the message should be for a design, then you can start working your design choices into the artwork itself. It also works really well for logo designing as well. Just like this jujitsu logo I designed quite a while ago now. I wanted something that looked strong, but also which had a sense of community and which was slightly passive. And that's because just the nature of jujitsu. So I used curves as well as angle straight lines that helped give that impression. And also it actually incorporated a fist into the design as well. Now this was doable because I worked backwards, so to speak. Once you know how the end result should be, then you can start designing. The next tip is contrast. But whoa, 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 wait there. Not the generic contrast that most people know or use. Contrast can go far deeper than having just two contrasting colors or something really big and something really small. This design here uses an interesting form of contrast. Now we can see how bold and graphic the typography is. Matched with the line illustrations at the bottom, it's a very flat and bold design. That is apart from the gradient 3D design towards the middle. And this is a direct contrast of design style. And when done correctly, it does look really, really neat. And here's another prime example. You can see how the designers have mixed bold and graphic backgrounds that are filled in with block colors and contrasted that with real imagery often mixed with blending mode options. So as you can see, contrast goes far beyond just, you know, color and stuff like that. And try and think of really wonderful and unique ways of using contrast on your designs. So as a bonus tip, check out this design right here. Now it actually shows one error that some designers are guilty of when it comes to using contrast. Now if we look at this typography here, we can see they've tried to create hierarchy with contrasting font weights. When doing this, try not to use wide leading or space between each line, and also don't just use one weight bolder or one weight thinner. Put that thing right up to the max so contrast is really apparent. Now the third design tip I have for you today is really important, especially nowadays. Memory hooks. Think how you can add something to your design that is unique, that will really help embed itself into the memory of the viewer. The thing is though, it needs to be relevant to the message and also the brief, but let me explain. This bottled water design does it really, really well. People who buy this will remember the cool concept of that whale on the design. It's a talking point among other people and groups of friends, and it's one way how products spread throughout communities. And then you have this brand here who are selling something as simple as fabric wool. But look at the packaging on this product. It's creative, it's fun, and it's memorable. Now I can almost guarantee without checking beforehand that this company probably sells their product for about three or four times the price of their competitors simply because of the packaging alone. Okay, maybe not three or four times more expensive, but it will be more pricey. Humor is a great way to create a memory hook, just like this bag design right here. It's a unique and fun design, again, super memorable, and it's a great way to elevate something like a standard brown bag. Other designs can be memorable because they are weird or shocking. This poster gives a lot of room to that shouting head graphic, which might I add is basically all mouth and nothing else. This graphic is striking and it will likely be memorable to the viewer. Memory hooks are ever so more important these days due to the amount of design work that the average person consumes every single day online, their smartphones and so on. Graphic design tip number four is the narrative. 
Now, does your design have a narrative? Or shall I say, does the brief call for an actual narrative to be used? Hashtag break up with your bank. This is a mini marketing campaign for Starling Bank. It's a relatively new form of banking aimed at younger people which are trying to remove the old traditional banking systems. So that's the narrative, but how does the design play into it? Firstly, using a hashtag is obviously aiming things at the younger tech savvy kind of audiences. Breaking up with the bank also relates back to relationships and breakups, something younger people tend to go through more than older people. The imagery used points to the old and tedious forms of money management and banking, and they are literally just torn apart. It's a really clever narrative that has been executed really efficiently. Now here's another design selling an organic kind of shampoo. We can see how the color palettes are very muted and very restrictive, which highlights the minimal nature of the design, which actually highlights the purity and organic nature of the product. The design also uses hand-drawn illustrations that makes it seem more genuine and more natural and organic. It would be very different if the design used very straight angled lines instead of these organic hand-drawn ones. Know the narrative, know how to use the narrative, and then express that narrative. But if you want to learn how to express yourself through your designs even more, just click the video on screen. And until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.